Let's do a full base of Maybelline underneath the macro camera lens to see how it really looks on my skin. Starting with the Perfecta 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. I really like to use this as an underglow to my foundation. It blends out so easily. I'd say the e.l.f. halo glow is more of a dupe to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter than this one though. Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. These products with the security labels are so hard to get into. I'd say it's medium buildable coverage. And I was so impressed by it. I don't know how people don't talk about this more. It's so, so nice on the skin. It didn't look patchy either. I'll definitely be using this again. Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. I have to say this is one of my favourite drugstore concealers. It's really creamy and full coverage. It blends out so nicely and it doesn't go dry or patchy and it definitely covers my dark circles. I've seen a lot of people also use this as bronzer so I got a darker shade. Again, really hard to open. It blends out so, so nicely and melts into your foundation. It blended out a lot quicker than I thought it was going to do actually. I feel like it did look quite orange at first, but once I blended it all out, I really liked it. A Cheek Heat Blush. So this is a gel-based blush. It does say on the packaging that it is sheer. I was a bit disappointed because it did go quite patchy at first, but it did blend all together eventually. Probably suited better to no makeup makeup looks. The Fit Me Powder. One of my absolute favourite drugstore powders. It looks so nice underneath the eyes and it doesn't go patchy. Together, I'm really impressed. Let me know what you think.